Welcome everybody. This is definitely a very long overdue review, but it's something that I want to talk about, particularly since Shadow of Mordor 2 has heavily rumored and most likely going to be released. Shadow of Mordor is probably my favorite Xbox One era game. It also came out on the PS4, and there's even a 360 and a PS3 version. But the current generation versions as well, the PC version, is definitely the superior one. However, this really is a stellar game. It's set place in the Lord of the Rings movie universe. Not canonical, so it doesn't tie into like any future things, but it borrows a lot from various books and side notes and appendices of the Lord of the Rings. In timeline, it takes place sometime between the end of the Hobbit trilogy and prior to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. You play a Gondorian soldier guarding the Black Gate, which for a long period of time was actually manned by Gondor to patrol Mordor before Saruman started to reappear. That and Minas Morgul and Askilioth were all completely built cities at this time and the realm of men was much safer than what we see in the Lord of the Rings but this is the beginning of Sauron's rise of power in Mordor his servants kill you and your family and start you on this path of revenge I really like the mechanic of the wraith and the ranger and the powers that you have and most notably the nemesis system the nemesis system is amazing. Whenever you kill an orc but you don't decapitate them, there's a really high chance that they're going to come back. And they're going to come back with an injury related to the way that you thought you had killed them. If you explode an explosive barrel of a captain, or if you shoot him in the head with the arrow, he's going to come back maybe burned. Or he's going to come back with a faceplate over the eye that you may have shot out. He comes back and he remembers that encounter. Or if you came in riding on the war, he'll remember that. They're not actually roaming the world in real time, but the game universe is persistent and it remembers you and it remembers your actions and they remember how you killed their foes and who you're up against. And the dialogue is funny and the names are funny and it just, it gives the game so much more of a grounding than other ones and that actually cares and if this person defeats you and defeats you over and over again they're going to taunt you on that each time it's such a refreshing way of looking at this game world and i really hope that more games develop this type of system Shadow of Mordor was actually originally supposed to be a Batman game before it got canceled or readapted and everything was reskinned to Lord of the Rings. And you definitely could tell this would have been a really good Batman game because every enemy that you defeated by breaking their nose or them falling into a vat of acid or being burned would have their face changed. And of course you're Batman so you wouldn't kill them most of the time. So they would get out of prison and then you would re-encounter them and they would taunt you. This game it's a little bit harder to believe that they keep on coming back because some of them you really brutally kill but until you remove that head they can come back. Shadow of Mortar is an amazing game. You can pick it up on the cheap either used or on Amazon or just anywhere else it's a really stellar game and i highly recommend you play it and i'm sure shadows of mortar 2 is going to be amazing so that's all bye <laughs>